I'm Damien, and this is your personal haircut. Um, but I like to do things a little bit differently than maybe other barbers or hairdressers that you've been to in the past. Uh, it's more of a, a mindset, really, because I might have all the same tools as them, I might have the spritz and the spray, the scissors and the razors, you know, I have the combs, all the same tools, but um, really it's, yeah, it's a mindset because I like to be aware of uh, two aspects that I see in hair. One is the, the science of the follicle, you know, the, the weight the grain and the curve, the spin, um, all these things that happen on an individual, you know, an independent level, which each and every hair follicle, but then how those independent units work together, you know, to create this, this whole experience on your head, right? Your hair. Um, so you have to be aware of all these different things. Very precise, very, very, very precise. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, we have the emotional weight that each strand of hair has, you know, and what that means to you, to you. Um, because your hair, your hair, you have some nice hair, don't you? Mmm, yes. But your hair is, you know, the expression of your, your inner lion, you know, it's your, it's your mane, um, and so as the one that, that wields the blade, you know, um, I need to be extremely, uh, cautious, not cautious, not cautious, but just aware, once again, of, of what that means to you. What it means when I sever something from you. You know, when it's here and then it's gone. It can be tragic. You never want to take too much, right? But anyway, enough of that. Well, let's have a look at, uh, what's, what are we working? It's nice, very nice. Um, it says a lot about you too, not how it looks. I know it's, you should have come in sooner. Everyone thinks that, but um, just its shape it says a lot about you, I guess. Hmm, sorry, um, I can get a little caught up sometimes reading too much and just the hair but first as you know um you gotta start out with the spritz because it can't be too dry when i'm cutting it right so the spritz and the spray so Alright, we have the spritz. Ooh, and the spray. The spritz. And the spray. Great. Oh, there we go. This is just water, don't worry. This, on the other hand. This smells good. It will only benefit your hair. Don't worry, trust me. There's a lot of trust, um wired between you and me. A lot of trust. Can you trust me? Mm. I love that smell. Anyway. So it's wet right now. I know. It's wet, but we're just gonna let it kind of sink in, get used to the shape of your scalp, and I'm just gonna kind of absorb you visually. Um, just let me look at you. And as this happens, um, 
I like to do something in here that's a little different. Most people use the massage gun, if at all, at the end. Because I like to I like to relax my client. Um, and I think a good way in terms of just developing that rapport between us is if you can, you know, let your shoulders ease up and uh, just sit back, you know, get used to wherever you are. I mean, the seat that you're in. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to gradually work out some of the knots and the tension that you might have from, you know, a working day in your shoulder. So, here we are. this. It's kind of a weird angle for me, you know front of you, but I can reach behind you actually kind of nicely. Yeah, some tension, don't you? Crank it up just a little. I know it's quick. Um, this whole experience might be a little on the fast side because for me, um, it's kind of a cathartic experience. Um, you know, I've done enough haircuts to the point where you kind of just know, or you don't, but don't worry, I know. Um, and actually, true story, the, the best haircut I ever went to was, um, only used scissors, and it did it so fast, so fast, it was like a whirlwind, um, and he was in a, an old kind of building that honestly was probably built in the 19th century. Um, and I don't know, I was just amazed by it because he seemed like he was blind, maybe. He was an old man. Um, didn't even seem like he was looking at my hair, but I walked away with the best haircut I've ever had. So ever since then, I've tried to take that approach. You just feel it, you know? Okay, but anyway. Now that your hair, jeez, you're shedding. Um, I like to brush it, I like to comb your hair. There we go. There we go. So let me take a little, let me get a little closer. As I brush your hair, as I brush your hair. Brush, 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 brush. I guess technically, um, it's actually a comb I'm working on. Here we go. I might say that's on my hair. Good. Oh. Good. Good. Quite the nest you have. Okay, let me get this. Oh. There. Very nice. Beautiful hair you have, by the way. Lovely. Um, anyway. The smaller one, just to Like I said, it can be a little quick sometimes. Um, I like to do it in rounds, okay? So, don't be nervous. I'm not gonna cut you. Um, 
but it is time to snip. It is time to snip, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Very good. Very good. It's lovely. It's actually, it's kind of, um, I don't want to gas myself up a little. Ooh, too much. But, um, because obviously it's your hair. I'm not saying I'm the one responsible or anything for why it's looking so good, but I really believe in this haircut. Ooh. You might be wondering why I've slowed down so much, but I like to do the first initial kind of bounce and then just focus in again, like we were talking about before. That was very emotional. This is when the, the precision comes. things that make a big, big difference. Snip. Alright. Here we are. Snip. Okay. Snip. You don't have to say anything. Snip. I know it's, you usually feel that pressure when, you know, the person working on your hair. Snip is kind of setting you up with leading questions. You feel like you have to talk, but sometimes you're just not in the mood. I'm talking quite a lot. I understand. Uh, you don't have to say a word. Snip. You can just nod, you know, or breathe deeply, you know, just signify that you're okay with what, you know, you're receiving at the moment. Snip. Kind of a frisky piece, wasn't it? All right, um, might go for another, another round. Cause I worked away, you know, and refined it, and gave it some shape, some texture, but now I need to, to go on again and just see what comes out. All right, okay. So we're gonna start snipping again, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're beautiful.
beautiful. Now, oh, let's see. Let me see. This will be. Um, well, this will be extremely quick. Um, but I do have a little razor. No cap, I've broken three razors this year, just randomly. I never break a razor, I've broken three freaking razors this year. Um, so I have this one now. It's so annoying. Um, I tried to fix them for like two hours each, doing the little screws. I couldn't get them back. Um, I dropped two, and then the other one was just weird. But that was, that was last year, but um, it's early this year. Um, that was ridiculous. Anyway, enough about me. It's all about your hair, because this is your personal, personal haircut. Um, Alright, this is going to be really quick. I just want to tighten up. Everyone can use just a little thing on the back, you know? Just give it some shape. Um, I apologize if it's loud. Great, okay, great. And the side, ambidextrous. Not actually. It's okay, though. Just That was fast. That was easy. Around the ear. Great. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. I'm getting a little carried away. But, um, you know, you can never have too much. I mean, sorry. I don't know what I was saying. You can always cut too much. I didn't cut too much, though, don't worry. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, uh... I'm gonna use a little bit of product. Yes, I said a little bit of product. ridiculous lavender but actually it smells really good um do you smell that it smells really good okay do you hear that that's the sound of something that smells good um anyway i just like to use a little bit of something um oh, that uh that will allow your hair to have a, a kind of unique shape, you know, something that you might not use product that's completely okay. Um, I don't use product most of the time, but, you know, this is a unique experience, so let's just, let's just give it something, a nice little look, you know. Um, that maybe you won't have access to when you're just rolling out of the shower. We're out of bed. But if you're thinking, well, why do I need to put product in it if I'm just going to bed right after this? If you're just going to sleep. If you're going to sleep right after this, well, don't really have a great answer, but we're just going to give it some shape anyway, okay? Great. Nothing wrong with a little oh, product here and there. in your hair is that thick but I just put a lot of it on my hands so I'm gonna rub that on my pants anyway um god it's a lot <laughs> okay so now that we have that done very very quickly um just I wanna just pass me your nails your fingernails 
Um, I don't, this isn't a nail salon or a spa, even though I do work at a spa, so maybe I'll see you there in the future. But everyone can use a quick tram, right? So just pass me, you know, pass me, pass me, pass me your hands, your fingers, and let me uh, do a quick. Yeah, okay. Da -da -da. One nail, two nail, ooh, three nail, four, five nail, six nail, seven nail, more, eight nail, nine nail, your tenth nail. There we go, very quick. Now I'm just gonna work around the, uh, just clean up any detritus that builds around the cuticles. Um, once again, it's that, that scientific approach. Um, that extends beyond just hail, hair, sorry, that allows me to, you know, clip nails uh, very quickly as well. That hyper-focus, hyper-focus, not even looking at your nails, but I can feel it, I can feel where they are. Ridiculous. Um, okay. Bam, 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 they're clean. They're clean, just the little, little, little parts. Um. Okay, so I'm I'm feeling quite relaxed. I'm I'm kind of tired, um, which is good because it can be it's a lot for me sometimes to cut someone else's hair. It's very special, very sacred. But um, you know, and this isn't supposed to not implying anything about you or your you know your health or your personal hygiene. Um, it's just standard for any one of my clients that, that comes in, um, comes through the door. Everyone leaves with a lice check, um, because we need to keep your hair healthy. So we're just going to check, just as a precaution. Right, um, so, I love that sound, don't you? Come. gonna take a minute actually okay anyway now that we got that out of our system um yeah, I'm just gonna just browse through try to see if I can spot a rogue louse Anywhere. Um. So, wanna get that out of your way. There we go. Hmm. Gotta check, you know, around the ears. Around your ears. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna move to gonna, the top of your scalp. Let's see. out of your face. Mm. Like 
like you, ex you know, or like I expected, and probably like you expected. I don't see any lice. So, I'm winded. That was, um, that was a lot, but I'll come back maybe in a few weeks. Tomorrow, if you'd like. I'm always down to cut your hair. We could do something new with it. Um, I think I missed a spot. Oh. Hmm. Could do just. A little one. Goodbye.